still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Okay, from the top. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley sat at his desk all day, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly Perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the... When static... Wait, wait, what? What? Wait. What was happening? What? Really? Did you do it purely to spite me? that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. This is the story of a man named Stanley. A big man pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's going home. Stanley stood for a long time in one spot. It's part of a game. He likes to see how long he can go without dying. So far, he's doing excellent. Now, he's coming back to work. Let's observe the genius at work. Stanley was so bad at the game that he couldn't even do a critical strike properly. You see? Can he just not hear me? This is the story of a man named Stanley. 
Stan, it was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He seems to think I have nothing better to do with my time than to sit around and describe every fascinating little detail of his inability to do anything. Also, Stan is addicted to drugs and hookers. Have we really been doing this for over three and a half hours? Goodness, how time flies. Wouldn't you say it's flown? Oh no, you, you don't have to answer that. I understand you're quite busy. Just, just keep at it. Almost there. Although I find it hard not to believe you're simply running a program to click the button over and over automatically. Which kind of ruins the point of the game, don't you think? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. All they had to do was transport it in pristine condition along to the PlayStation. Boom. Done. And they couldn't even do that. Couldn't resist the urge to go meddling with a beloved... Wait. What? Fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. Please, take your time. Did someone forget to pick up the bonfire ascetic? Or should I say, did someone forget to create their character, hmm? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley was a quirked up white boy, and he was goated with the sauce.
no, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. <laughs> And in the end, it was all for nothing. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you've run it into the ground. Was it worth ruining the entire story I would written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to be... said, this is the worst adventure I've ever been on.